autism, dendropathy, synapsepathy or mini-columnopathy. Neuroscience or the scientific study of the nervous system is rapidly progressing. One field in particular where such advances are being made is in autism. The neurons consist of several fibers called dendrites which receive information from other neurons and another fiber called the axon which relays information to other neurons. Dendron means tree in Greek. Dendrites are so called because they are structures which are tree-shaped. Dendrites have tiny spines on their surface rather similar to leaves on a tree. Axon is derived from the Greek to go. Axons are so called because they contain information which is leaving the nerve cell. The connections between axons and dendrites are called synapses. Synapse means connection in Greek. The surface of the brain is called the cerebral cortex. The neurons of the brain's cerebral cortex are arranged in many columns which contain tens and tens of neurons wrapped together in tight packages. So these are some of the main structures which will be discussed. Neurons and Autism It has been recognized that children and adults with autism may have more nerve cells or neurons but that the structure of the neurons is abnormal especially in the front part of the brain known as the frontal lobes. The frontal lobes are important in the development of thoughts and feelings which lead to behavior. At this point it must be said that in medicine when an organ such as the brain is abnormal the suffix epithy or if inflamed the suffix itis is applied. Mini colonopathy. The many columns in autism are often narrower than normal. It seems that the neuron diameters may be smaller even though the numbers of neurons in the many columns is normal or above normal. Some researchers have described the abnormality as a many columnopathy. Synapsepathy Other researchers have described the synapses as being abnormal and have described their findings as a synapsopathy. Having researched the literature it is felt that in most psychiatric diseases it is the abnormalities of dendrites which are easier to comprehend. Most psychiatric diseases now appear to be related to an abnormal immune response in predisposed people resulting in inflammation of the brain. When dendrites are inflamed the shape and number of the dendrites and their spines becomes abnormal. Usually the dendritic spines or leaves are reduced in number and size. Sometimes the disfigurement results in more spines which are larger. Dendropathy or dendritis Perhaps a simpler description would be a dendritis or dendropathy. The term dendritis or dendropathy would explain the narrowing of the many columns and the abnormal synapses. Also with recent development in neuroscientific imaging dendrites and their spines are being visualized in much greater detail. Other conditions which are associated with autistic behavior such as Rett syndrome, fetal, alcohol syndrome and fragile X syndrome also have abnormally shaped dendritic spines. Definition of dendropathy or dendritis The term dendritis or dendropathy is described as follows. Structural and functional changes in dendrites and dendritic spines secondary to an abnormal immunogenic response to an immunogen or autoimmunogen in a genetically predisposed individual. The structural and functional model of dendritis or dendropathy in autism also known as autistic dendritis may be helpful in understanding autism. Conclusion Many, columnopathy, synapsepathy or dendropathy or dendritis. Whichever term is eventually decided upon the understanding of that pathology and autism continues to improve.